Okay, welcome to Atlantic Ocean Watch on YouTube. I'm also Atlantic Ocean Watch on TikTok and Instagram. The links will be in the description. I'll also leave a link to my travel channel called Just Go, my smaller channel. Leave a link to that as well if you're interested in that. So I, I had already unboxed everything at home and taken all the plastic off just to save time. But here it is. Sandbridge Beach, Little Island Park, on Little Island here in Virginia Beach. And I figured I'd start this video for you guys. A warranty card, nothing really too special about that. And of course, the timepiece itself, I love the color of the dial. And I'm normally not a metal bracelet guy, but I do like the design of the metal bracelet that's on this watch. But what I don't like is this clasp that, as you can see, can be trouble opening up. But I'll talk more about that clasp and the bracelet in just a minute. There's an NH35 movement in the timepiece, so it's very, very reliable. Screw down crown. And of course, 200 meters of water resistance. So pretty much any water sports or any water activities this watch should be able to handle. I'll put some more specifications and other details up on the screen for you to check out. Feel free at any time during a bit in the video to pause it to look at it further for yourself to help you make a more informed decision if you'd like to get this watch or not. So here I am at home free handing this part of the video. I went ahead and changed the bracelet out to a Richie strap that I ordered the day I got this because this bracelet is just kind of, I don't know, term wonky. It's kind of flimsy and it's already a already small 20 millimeter, but it tapers down even smaller. Um, and then this buckle here was an absolute nightmare to open up um, and close and getting the spring bars out was a nightmare but I managed to get it done um, you know and if they wanted to put a metal bracelet on right if it you know if it had to do that I would have rather they put the same kind of maybe cheap kind of weird clasp like on this one here that I've had on the channel before. Uh, check out that Parn Spray video I did last year on this one here. I'd rather they would have had that kind of um, metal strap because it was comfortable and I was surprised at how well it actually stayed on my wrist. Or I would have wished if they want to use metal that it would be like this older one here back one of my earlier videos that I did um, that has this kind of you got to kind of pull on this thing and then a magnet <laughs> doing this I'm trying to do this one handed I guess I put this down you kind of pull on this and then the magnet kind of just whoop, like that but the thing with about this is you remember from that video for those of you who've been around for a while <coughs> excuse me this magnet was kind of weak but I would have rather they would have done something like that. Um, like with this watch here, right? Or again, like I was saying about this Parn Spray one here that I did a video on last year. Where they have this kind of weird hook that you have to hook into. Like this. If I can get it to go right. So I probably can't. As my nephew stares at me weirdly in my window. 
How was how was school today? Uh, good. Good. But it's like a weird kind of class. I'm trying to show y'all while I hold the camera in my lap. If I hook it in and go like that, like this one here on this watch review last year, believe it or not, once you get that funky clasp in there, held just fine. But this cheap thing that came that came with this one, this one here, even though it looks like it's screw in like jeweler screws is terrible it's like flimsy it's already 20 and it tapers down and his clasp is a pain in the air you know what i mean pain to like get open and i've opened many look at that it's it's a pain to get open so i changed it to a richie strap because what came with it sucked and it looks i think much better so like i said i changed out to a Richie strap. I've talked about Richie straps to exhaustion on this channel. If you have a watch and you want a good strap, Richie, they're not sponsoring this. Be nice if they did, but they make excellent watch straps off. I get off Amazon. Um, of course, doing my normal thing at the beach, enjoying the weather. Some more watch shots there for you to watch, and of course, looking at girls because I'm a normal guy, and that's what we guys do. Okay, Bush Gardens, Williamsburg, Virginia. Watch performance. The train, I love the train. There is uh, the Whitney Griffin. Yeah, I'm too old to go on the roller coasters, y'all. I'm sorry. I'll be 52 days after this video goes up onto YouTube. So, you know, try to stick around for a while and, uh, yeah. Fun to watch. People screaming. On the roller coaster, but me, not me, not me. Uh, here for a tour bus trip. Uh, back to driving tour buses full time. Still working at a bicycle shop, but uh, tour buses pay more, so that's why I'm back doing it. Plus, I get more, I have more fun. So, good old Rockless Monster. Yep, used to ride that a lot when I was a kid. Great roller coaster. Anyway, as we go into Oktoberfest, and I eat some delicious food in Oktoberfest, the watch is working fine. Um, this video is taking place over a period of approximately 1.5 or so, even maybe a little bit more months, because I've been busy with other things since my last video. Um, so you guys are really getting a deeper dive really I think into you know longevity any problems that have developed um, the sci-fi crystal it hasn't scratched or had any problems the crystal has not popped out the ceramic bezel um, has been just fine you can also get the bezel by the way uh, in, a, in black as well um, that's um, an option for you if you rather have a black one um, it is available but I'll leave my information in the video description so you can check it out for yourselves. Um, right now they are having a sale going on at the moment. So uh, the watch is very, very comfortable um, as I shoot this part of the video at Fort Monroe, Outlook Beach in Hampton, Virginia, and uh, we're watching a cargo ship go by, container ship go by in two Hampton Roads Harbor. But yeah, very comfortable, especially since I changed out the strap to a Ricky strap. Um, if you get this watch, you'll probably do the same. And I like... I like non-metal shops anyways, you guys know if you've watched me for a while, but there are some metal shops I've had on the channel that have been just fine, but in this case, um, that is not the case. This, The one that came with it is 
it was terrible um so i recommend to you getting an aftermarket strap and that will help this watch out tremendously it's a shame it's such a great watch as a crappy strap so here we go with uh, ninth performance the glow compared to one of my Addy's dives on the right there it's not the best but it works but the Addy's dive which is on the right there works better underwater performance of course the Addy's dive and the Torrend, Torrenando I can't say it right to save my life I've, I've tried but both watches and no problem no ingress of course uh, screw down crown again 200 meters of water resistance the sapphire crystal on the timepiece and ceramic inserts either in the color I have or in black um, are available on this timepiece you can get the name stamped on the face or without mine has it without so don't forget to check me out at Atlantic Ocean Watch on TikTok and Instagram I'll leave a link to all that in the video description some of the clips you guys are seeing actually show up in some of the short videos I post on TikTok and um, Instagram. I do sometimes go live on Instagram, but um, most of the time it's like a minute long clip that you guys will see with some cool music that I put up, I'll put up there. You know, just something, I don't know, cool, different, you know. TikTok, Instagram, Atlantic Ocean Watch. And again, um, I'll leave also information to my secondary channel called Just go um kind of hard to find so i'll leave a link to that in the video description it's kind of my traveling do stuff go places see things channel that i think some of you guys will uh, appreciate um most recently there's a video up there about the united states marine corps museum and also uh the grave of harriet tugman um so you guys might find it interesting just go outer banks north carolina some of this footage you guys will see on TikTok and Instagram at Atlantic Ocean Watch on both of those platforms. Had a great time down on the Outer Banks of North Carolina. Wonderful place, wonderful people. The OBX Outer Banks of North Carolina. Some more watch shots with me wearing the timepiece. Again, really just a great watch other than that strap uh, that I talked about earlier I mean I love the color of a dial it glows well enough I do apologize about the barking dog in the background of me doing this voiceover my nieces have a dog so and he just yaps away sometimes like right now I'm trying to do my videos The struggles, the struggles of an uncle and a father, father to one, uncle to five. And I guess uncle is six and we can include, include the dog in the background barking. Anyway, yeah, just a comfortable watch to wear. Um, I do recommend that you go, let's go get it. Um, and I'll tell you more of my deeper thoughts on it later on. But I just, as I explained before, I want to make this video like this. I'm a bit long, yes, but I want you guys to see over the month, really about month and a half, really, period of time of me wearing this watch in different situations um, from work and play, that the watch is held up fine, um, and that you will get your money's worth overall, despite the crappy bracelet that holds this watch back. Jeanette's Pier, I love Jeanette's Pier. Bodie Island Lighthouse, I love that place. As well, of course, Cape Hatteras is currently being um, revamped. And of course, the graveyard of the Atlantic. But anyway, here are my final thoughts about the timepiece. Okay, so what do I think about this thing here? I think that if you got a 
little teeny weeny bit of money that this will work for you. My main complaint about it is the terrible, 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 terrible metal bracelet that comes with it. I replaced it with a Richie strap because I like their rubber straps and they've always been good quality. Uh, as far as keeping time, I've only in the past month only had to adjust the time like I think twice. It was off by about four or five minutes. Um, as far as durability, I haven't had any problems with it as far as being durable other than of course that bracelet sucks that I really discarded pretty much right away. Um, and also that clasp that comes in a bracelet too, it sucks. But um, the watch itself is actually pretty good and I, I would recommend buying it. Um, but of course, like always, I would always try to get it um, to get the most bang for your buck in this case, get it like on sale. And I'm going to give this watch here three clocks out of five clocks. It's because that bracelet and that clasp are just terrible. And the loom, really, if the loom was better, and especially if they put some loom on the rotating bezel, it would have been, a, I think, better. And because I live here in this area where I live, where there's a lot of nautical stuff going on, I'm, I mean, I'm a Navy veteran, all that stuff, um, people, you know, are boating here, diving, you know, surfing, swimming, you know, all kinds of stuff, kayaking, stuff like that. Of course, uh, mountain biking, stuff like that. Um, on the local trails that we have here. It's a good durable watch, but there's stuff out there from uh, Still Dive and Addy's Dive and even uh, Teutschmeister, some of the Teutschmeister stuff. Um, that's, I think, a better deal than what these folks here are giving. I like the color of the dial, I like the style, but that bracelet, the clasp on the bracelet, and the not so great loom, those are the things that cause me to give it three clocks out of five clocks. I still recommend it barely, but if you're going to do it, know that you're going to need to buy another bracelet like I did because the one that comes with it and the clasp that comes with it, they just terrible. Um, and you're gonna probably break your nail or something trying to get the clasp to release properly. And also on the clasp, to so the micro adjust on the clasp is terrible. So that's it. Thanks for watching.